I want to tell you about a story of a guy that I used to work with. We gave him a nickname at work and his nickname was Eeyore, like Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. He was always down and out, always complaining, always whining, always bitching about something constantly. So we gave him the nickname Eeyore. So one day I'm sitting down having lunch with Eeyore. He was telling me, man, I just really want to, I really want to start my own company. I really want to start my own business. You know, I want to be an entrepreneur. It's just that I'm single, you know, I'm single and it'd be so much easier if I was married and had a family and had kids and then I wouldn't be so distracted and I'd be more focused on starting a business and be able to do something that I really want to do. And I was immediately taken back by that for a couple of reasons. One, I can remember talking to so many other guys that were married and they said the exact opposite thing. They said, man, if I was just single and I wasn't married and didn't have kids and didn't have all my weekends taken up by things I'm doing with the family or nights taken up by sitting down and doing homework with my kids, all that extra time that I could have, I would be able to start on my own company, pursue something that I, I really want to do instead of just be in this dead end job. Yet here I have my friend Eeyore sitting here telling me that essentially he has way too much time on his hands. That's basically what he was saying. Idle hands is the devil's playground. And what that's saying is he had so much spare time, so much extra time that he would just squander all his time. He was wasting his time and he wasn't able to stay focused on starting a company. That was the last time that I had lunch with Eeyore. I realized that's not the type of person I wanted to hang out with. I didn't want to be around somebody who was making excuses for not doing something that they really want to do. And I realized right away when he was saying that, when he was saying, oh, if I was, wasn't single and I was married and had kids, I'd be more focused and then I would be able to start my business. I just realized that was just such a, such a cop out, such an excuse as to, to why not to do something. Because on the contrary, the married men with, with families and kids and wives that didn't start a business, they were essentially saying the same thing. They were making an excuse and using their family as an excuse as to why they weren't starting a business. And then Eeyore, on the other hand, who was in the, the exact position that the family man was in, they both basically essentially wanted to switch positions. One guy who's single thinks, oh, I need to be more focused. If I was a family guy, I'd start my own business. This guy has way too much time on his hands. But then the family guy, his excuse is, I have no time to do anything. I, I can't start my own business. I wish I was the, the single guy who had all the time in the world and I could really dive into what I want to do, what I want to accomplish. What I learned from lunch that day with Eeyore is that it doesn't matter where you are in life. Decide who you want to be. Are you the guy that's going to make excuses because of life circumstance? Because if you're that guy, you're going to make an excuse for anything that comes up, whether you're single, whether you're married, no matter what your life's, you'll always find a reason not to do something. Or do you want to be the guy that says, I'm going to do this in spite of, or regardless of this, I'm still going to do this. I'm still going to pursue this and nothing's going to get in your way. You have a vision for your life and you're pursuing that. And that's what you want to do. And you're still handling, if, you, if you're the married guy and you have a family and your kids, you, you, you're still providing for your family's needs but you're not using them as an excuse, right? You're setting an example for your family and say, hey, this is what a man does. A man provides for his family, but he still doesn't give up on his hopes, his dreams, his passions. He still does that. And if you're the single guy and you got all that extra time, then don't squander it. Don't go out every single night drinking, hooking up with random different girls, squandering all this time, boat parties, VIPs. Sure, they're great while you're doing it, look at the results. What are, you, what are you left with? The worst thing you could possibly do is to make excuses as to why you're not doing something. Anybody can make an excuse. Figure out what you want to do. When you figure out what you want to do, go for it. You can do it.